Hey there, Real Gamers, Retro Rob here. Time for the live stream. Today we're taking a look at Towers of Everland by Cobra. <laughs> Cobra. The Cobra Commander of Digital. Uh, this one is available on the good old Mac Game Store uh, or Apple Arcade, as they like to call it now. Um, this one you can run both on your iPad, I guess your iPhone too. I haven't tried it on the iPhone. And your Mac, so your gameplay can basically kind of go between these because it cloud saves. So you can pick it up on your Mac, play it on your iPad later, whatever. Uh, it also uses the gamepad, so there's gamepad usage here. <laughs> There we go. By the way, hi, Mo Nice Monster Gaming. How's it going? <laughs> that was a weak intro. Anyway, I think we're just going to get started. Uh, I didn't get very far into this one. I was kind of just looking for a topic uh, for the video and wondering what I should do. And this one, this one basically came up. And uh, I tried a few minutes of it and I said, hey, this looks pretty good. Uh, first thing I'm going to note is that you can create... A new character even though I am currently using one for this game you have a choice of them which is pretty darn nice and look at there's customization options sweet but we're gonna continue my game so we're gonna load this All right, so the goal today is to get to level 10 where I can unlock the crafting guild because that looks interesting and these trading guild things. Um, the new daily quests thing, where'd it go? <laughs> There's supposed to be a thing right here for it. Ugh. Anyway, all right, let's go in here. Actually, it's over here. All right, the daily quest things is actually a series of achievements to complete. Uh, when I first saw it, I thought, oh, great. You know, they're gonna have like daily missions, but they really don't. They've got this, so uh, we'll just live with it. And of course, there's long-term quests, so there's that too. I think I'm going to be able to do these, so I'll be able to claim them. I, of course, am just starting out. And we're going to go to Gar's Lair. I think I already did Thalmor Tower. It was pretty easy, to be honest. So hopefully this one will be a little bit harder. Oh boy, we got this guy. Several small groups of people were able to escape the fall of the great city and left to wander the wilderness. Some people came across cave entrances on the side of tall mountains, which seemed like the ideal place to start a new settlement. I think things are going to go poorly. Yes, of course they are. Unfortunately for these travelers, it's not going to end like, hey, <laughs> and they lived happily ever after. Otherwise, this would be kind of a short game. Unfortunately for these travelers, these caves were in fact entrances to towers, which had become... Towers are like, I guess, the things you beat up. That's Thus far, that seems to be what it is. Which had begun to emerge from the earth, disguised as hills and mountains, and filled to the brim with monstrous goblins. It seemed like these towers were changing, somehow evolving as if to intentionally lure the residents of Everland in as they fled from their great city. Here we go. All right. So, interesting thing about the controls. This is semi-turn-based. I mean, you can see... Oh, hey. Uh, messed that up already. I have been injured. I'm going to hold off healing myself, though, see if I can pick up some more heals. Uh, but as you can see, you move one block at a time. There we go. Oh, there was another one behind me. Pick up that money. So I can strafe one block at a time, or I can turn. Pretty easy controls. Graphically, I like it. Uh, another note, I'm going to pause for a second and go into the options here. If you are playing this from a Mac or, say, a more um, high-powered iPad, go into the graphics here. 
because it sets the render scale way low uh, when you start out. And you can crank that all the way up and it will look significantly better. All right, enough of that. Has my character had something done here? Do I have attributes to increase? I do. Awesome. All right, so do I want to be smarter? Heck no. Live it like an idiot. That's what I say. All right. So I'm looking for our hidden tower. Don't forget there's a map on the top left-hand side, like I did. Wander forever. Keep an eye out for bad guys. Blah, blah, blah. Here we go. This is going to be, at least based on the first uh, dungeon that I did, it was quite a bit of fun. Oh yeah, a couple things. A button. Swing your sword. B button. Guard. Hey, how's it going, Jerome? Oh. Mistakes were made. There's a door over there, too. All right, I want loot. Did I switch my sword yet? I got a writ. So, horrible story. <laughs> when, I was <laughs> when I was about 18, or maybe 19, I bought like a super, and I mean super cheap house on a land contract uh, to rent out. And it was in a really, really crappy neighborhood. I think all the people involved other than me are dead. So I don't think I have to worry about being sued. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I was having a problem getting a tenant out. It was terrible. They just would not leave. Uh, and this was in the probably 90s. I actually, I actually made up a thing called a writ of fumigation to get them out. <laughs> Said the place needed to be fumigated. Oh, hey, I gotta be careful here. Um, heal B. There we go. <laughs> Printed it up on my uh, my printer, which at that time that probably would have been an Amiga. I think it was a 600, by the way. I had one of the very few. Amiga 600s in town. I'm surprised he's being allowed to do damage to me, to be honest. But anyway, printed the thing out, nailed it on the door, and they did leave. <laughs> By the fumigation date. Apparently, they did not want their stuff fumigated, which was not going to happen. <laughs> Because <laughs> I don't think I could have afforded fumigation anyway. Oh, that place is horrible. Another side note about that. That place has actually been torn down uh, a few years ago. All right. I'm making mistakes. There we go. I don't like the looks of this spider either. Apparently if you time this just right, uh, you can do like a double swing. Uh, I'm gonna check on my sword real quick because I just realized there's a good chance that I did not. I don't know which I should do. I'm gonna do constitution. Because I'm pretty sure that increases my hit points. I'm not sure if I switched my shield yet. Okay, so is this one better? Yes, it is. So equip. There we go. 
All right, where was I? I was talking about, oh yeah, I think I can be done talking about what a, <laughs> what a crook I was when I was a kid, or younger anyway. Did I miss him? I did. That was actually pretty tricky. You see how he was able to dive away from me. There's a spider. That's right. What's that? The Mesa of... Mesa Lion? <laughs> What is this? Hold on, let's see if uh, this will give me an increase. Yes, this does significant more damage. Is it faster? I, I don't see anything that, you know, let's just go with it. The Mace of Incision, it says. And it's got a big skull. Well, that's beautiful. Can also use the triggers if I want. If I'd like that kind of, I don't know. I don't know what the thought would be there. Like airplane control, I don't know. All right, so it looks like this is gonna bring me a level up. Usually that's, yep. That's usually what the yellow on the map means. Wait, did I just leave? I left. <laughs> There's a door outside. Uh, all right. All right, we got to find the stairs, basically. I have to get to the third floor. And then I will have assistance waiting for me. That was a good one. There's a treasure in here, but I already took it. One thing I haven't found yet is a way to um, zoom the map out. So I'm gonna have to look into that. So anyway, the controls do use both sticks. Although opening doors is a way to kind of tell where you've been. It does have like that, what do they call it? Fog of war thing. All right, here we go. Wait, no, I think that's an exit. No, that is the way up. So we're gonna go up. Reminds me of Sword of Far Goal, how it does that. The steps. I, and I mean the remake of Sword of Far, Far Goal. Which we will be covering uh, one of these days on the live stream. See, that went well. That was some good combat there. Uh, do I have any ideas for the next video? Possibly. I, I've been thinking about doing more Evercade stuff. Um, I've been doing a bit of the Mac gameplay. The Mac is not my primary gaming system by any means. Uh, I have a gaming PC, and that's usually what I use. But the stuff on the... Uh, Mac store just interests the heck out of me. I think it's a such an interesting uh, culture, or, I don't know, ecosystem. It's just weird, you know? I, I, I realize it's not much different from other ones, but the fact that there's this crossover between the um, between the iPad apps and the Mac apps, I think it's interesting. That gap, that's gonna get even tighter as the new Apples start using Apple's own chipsets because they're supposed to just run the same code at that point. Uh-oh. My final hope there is to be able to use a, uh, like, ooh. Use like a MacBook of some kind to uh, to play like Call of Duty Mobile, which would be pretty cool, I think, because the game would look good and play really well. 
you'd have the advantage of uh, a little bit better Wi-Fi. I find that the iPad's Wi-Fi isn't the best. Although maybe they'll use the same chipset on that too. Well, I haven't thought about that. Hmm. Oh, crushed him! I think graphically, this game is a win. I think the gameplay is pretty interesting so far. I mean, I like it. It's it's kind of a if you look, there's a lot of stats in it, but it it plays in a manner where you're not spending too much time trying to figure out how the stinking game works. Really kind of interesting. I'm thinking this is a game you could walk away from for a while, and you know how, like, you... If you're older, you know this probably too well. Oh. But... What happens is you don't have time to play a game. You start playing it, and then you come back to it. You can't remember Jack, so you gotta start the game over. I... The latest, um... The latest Zelda game uh, for the Switch. I don't know how many times I've restarted that game now. Because I just can't remember where the heck I was. So. <laughs> this kind of game is kind of a break from that. I'm going to say I have been playing uh, Dragon Quest on the Switch. And I'm probably going to do a video on that. I've been playing it every night. So I haven't forgot where I am. <laughs> It's really good. I'm very surprised. I've never been a huge fan of the Dragon Quest games. I've played a couple of them. I've probably played a couple of them uh, here on the channel, but never been real big on it. But this game has really got me hooked. Anyway, I'm I was talking about Dragon Quest. There should be, there it is, a treasure. And uh, one thing you want to do here, too. That's weird. Oh, all right. I get it. Uh, one thing you want to do here is kind of look around because there's often other goodies. Ha. So I want to make sure I've picked them up. This is going to be the end of the level. All right. I don't see anything else. I'll just go for it. Yeah, it does look like an iPad game, and it is a crossover game. I'm I'm guessing this was designed mobile first. The Spear of Victory! All right, I want to see what a Spear of Victory looks like in the palm of my hand. Looks like this does more damage than what I'm using. Yeah, look at that. Up 42. Plus 68 health on kill. Oh, yeah. All right, let's see. <laughs> oh, look at that. All right, that's pretty cool. There we go. I've made it back. My God, is that music as loud for you guys as it is for me? That is insanely loud. By the way, another uh, video I got planned is uh, I've got Tailspin uh, for the TurboGrafx-16, which is kind of, there's an interesting story, well, to me, an interesting story behind it. Uh, I actually picked up the case for it in a lot a while ago, so I've been just, just the cases, you know, the, the cover of the manual, uh, that stuff. So I've been grabbing the games as cheap as I can to kind of make those complete. And Tailspin's, I guess, kind of rare because it's kind of expensive on the TurboGrafx-16 if you get it complete. But I got it for about 40 bucks less as parts, so pretty happy about that. I wanted to do a gameplay on that. That was in the plans for today, but just didn't get to it. All right, here we go. I've opened the trading guild. Here we go. Let's go in here because I'm going to guess I can sell some of my crap, right? Oh, wait. 
No, these are weapon parts. I, what? I can't actually sell weapons? Or is this? No. Oh, sell gear. See? There we go. Maybe that's it. Yep, there we go. So I can sell my junk. This is good. Hmm. That dagger does a lot of damage, but I don't... Alright, so I'm going to sell this one. Boy, it's barely worth jack, you know? <laughs> and those boots aren't equipped, so I'm going to have to equip those. Down 80, sell that one. Sell that one. I like that mace, so I'm going to keep it around. Sell the quick dagger. Keep that one. Don't think much of the hammer. I'm going to sell that. And I think this is actually useful. I don't recall picking that up, but whatever. Okay, so weaponsmith. Let's see. Look at that. The nimble danger, da danger, <laughs> dibble danger, dang it, of incision. Okay, so looks like most of the stuff, other than like the healthy shield, this might be something to buy if I've got enough money. Um, there's my money. I have enough money. That might be something to pick up, so I'm going to buy that. And then there's, wait, I went... There. What's this? Oh, look at that. The Healthy Helm of Anger. That sounds pretty promising. I'm going to use that. Bye. The Quick Tunic. I want that too. And the rest of it... I don't know. I suppose I can do this one. Bye. How am I doing for money here? And some basic gear. What? Oh, this is it's that stuff I sold? Yeah. I can wear a circlet. <laughs> Make myself pretty. All right, looking pretty good here. Let's get this. Put that. And then we'll do some selling. Put that. We got nothing to do there. Oh, wait. There's one more thing. One more thing in there. Up 49. Okay. Now I can sell some crap. Sell gear. There we go. Sniper Elite is really good. That whole series I like. Uh, can I sell multiple? Can I just... Wait, how does that work? Oh, yeah. I'm going to keep that and sell. All right. And I'm just hitting B to go back, you know, kind of like a standard game. And it looks like I've completed a quest. Yep. Dispatch 13 enemies. Claim some cash. Pretty good. Daily quests. How are we doing on those? 17 enemies. Oh, I've got to do both. I've got to clear a stone. It's a plus. See that? Huh. All right. Well, here we go. Wait. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I can upgrade his attributes here. Um, I'm going to up his strength a little bit. 
He's uh brutishly dumb. <laughs> All right, so we've got Drex Lair, which I think we already did, didn't we? Why is it telling me that I've already done it? And then we've got the Belgian Tower. So I'm gonna do the Belgian Tower. I think it's a higher level, so it doesn't matter. You know? Hmm. And here we go. What the heck was that? I went to the right instead of the left. Uh oh. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, where did he come from? Yeah, I can help if you protect yourself in this case. Behind me. Where'd he go? Did he die? <gasps> no. I have reached level seven. Hooray. Uh, I better make myself a little more nimble. There we go, confirm. I'm kind of excited about these talents here too. This looks kind of, kind of neat. Level 10 that gets unlocked. By going to the tower, am I missing something? Is there something out here? It doesn't look like it. It doesn't seem like there's anything out here. Like this is just kind of stage dressing. Can I just like leave? Yeah, I can check it out. <laughs> That's a good option sometimes. If you find out you're getting your butt beat completely. One thing I would like to see is more choices in where I can go. So I can choose to do like a really easy level or do a really hard level that would be a nice nice choice to have um i'm getting sick of the stick to be honest i, I think i probably will want to switch up this weapon Doing good. Just got some pleated boots. Oh. Ha! Ha ha ha. They're really giving me a lot of boots. How about a necklace or something? All right, there's no way out of here. So I'm gonna go back this way. Yeah, the floors are really small. Like the levels. Kind of surprised. Seriously, dude. I do not like those. At all. Another forge hammer. I'm guessing when the forge is open, I can use that to uh, upgrade my weapons. <laughs> Got him before he teleported. I'm gonna check out this other room real quick just to make sure I'm not missing anything, but looks like Yeah, that's just the way out. All right. Not if I can remember where I was. Another one of the great things uh, when you get over 40 is uh, 
the fact that you forget where you are a lot of the time, or forget where you're going. You walk out of the room, head out, look around, no idea where I am. It adds to the uh, adventure of video games as well, because, you know, it, it, it isn't just physically that thing happening. It's like in the virtual world, you don't know where you're going either. Well, that's pretty great. I'm looking forward to a future where I uh, not only don't know where I'm going, but don't know that I don't know where I'm going. You know, just, ah, I'm here now, and I'm just there. Oh, jeez, I'm getting my butt kicked here. Really? He deserved death. Attributes. I'm gonna do this. For the sake of at least being a little smarter. There we go. Nothing. I've already been here. Already been there. Already been there. Ah, <laughs> uh, where am I going? All right. A little lost. The problem was I was talking while I was going through those other rooms. There we go. That's down, I believe. Yep. That's the stairway down. <laughs> Sucker. Finished. Pretty soon I should hit the doorway. Have not really got much in the way of There we go. Have not got much in the way of loot really. Uh not great loot so far. It's kinda too bad. I think one of the mistakes they made in the advertising for this game is if you look at like the video playback I don't think it really has an FPS I mean I'm sure it's running at like 50 60 frames per second but it could be the live stream too it happens Got him. I'll have to take a look at the playback when we're done. Alrighty. Items. Did I get anything that has improved my livelihood in this game? Hmm. Alright, so here's the thing. This thing gives me a little bit of help back this one and this one does more damage i mean i didn't even need to use a heal did i 
this last round? I don't think I did. So, we go with that. Sweet! That's so loud! One of these days I'll probably start recording at uh, like 60 frames. Instead of 30. Actually, that might be the problem. I might have the set to uh, to do this. But anyway. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Fox, for for that. Uh, the mistake they made when advertising this game, in my opinion, is um, that they made it look a little bit too much like World's Slowest Endless Runner. There's not a lot of turning in the... Uh, there's not a lot of turning in it. It doesn't really show the gameplay properly. They have it very zoomed in. And you don't really get a feel for the game. And because of that, I really didn't check it out uh, until now. And I, you know, it's it's been showing up in my feed for probably a month or so. There we go. Daily quest completed. Just not, I, I don't know. It, it's an attractive, it, it is an attractive, like, uh, commercial for it. It's just not, it, it doesn't really represent the gameplay. I don't know if it, I don't know. It's hard to explain, but look at it on the app store and you'll see what I mean. It doesn't really adequately show the gameplay. There we go. Uh, I'm going to sell a couple things and then we're going to go run another tower. And that should get me to level 10 and we can take a look at what this crafting guild is about. Which I'm going to guess is about upgrading your thing. I don't live stream. Uh, nice monster. Just just as a thing. This this is kind of a sporadic live stream. Uh, most of my stuff is done as live YouTube stuff. I, not live, as you know, recorded YouTube stuff. I just do this for the fun. Stuff that I generally wouldn't cover on the channel, I cover here. Anyway, I'm going to sell some gear. Plus, for whatever reason, I, I never figured this one out either. Uh, my videos generally don't do well until like a month after they're posted. And I haven't figured that one out yet. I, I At first, I thought it was my keywording or uh, who knows. It just, for whatever reason, they don't pick up until much later. So... I don't know. I post a video, gets a couple hundred hits, then a month or two down the line, it's, you know, in the thousands. It's like, what the heck? It's not all of them, but enough of them that keeps me getting subs. Enough business, though. <laughs> Let's sell some gear. I'm not going to sell items because I'm not sure what they're for at this point. And I don't think I'm going to sell this guy yet. This I'm going to sell. This I'm going to sell. This I'm going to sell, even though I think those boots look way cooler than what I'm wearing. <laughs> Ever play an adventure game and uh, you keep a piece of gear just because it looks good? You know, it's like got horrible stats and you're like, eh, it looks better. I'm just going to wear it. I am sure people like... I've picked cars for that reason. Uh, when I had the Challenger, that was I, I <laughs> that was definitely a form over function vehicle. I really needed a truck and drove around in that thing, nearly dying all the time. And not because I drive fast or anything, just because it's kind of a lumbering beast to drive. Go drive with your grandpa. You'll know how I drive. My wife will disagree with that, but it's true. All right. I think we've got everything sold that I need to sell. I am going to go do my character upgrades, and then we're going to go do another tower. Attributes. Wow. I'm gonna try and speed him up a bit. He feels a little slow, so let's let's see if that actually helps. And equipped, I believe there's a chance for improvement on the shield. Yes, there is. Plus max health, that's great. 
All right. Looks good. We're ready to go to the Adventure Guild. Yeah, right? Yeah, that's a thing. I knew I wasn't the only person who, like, kept gear on his character that wasn't great. Just cause. Okay, we've got a choice between Korg's Lair and Yolta Yelton Mast. I guess we're going to go to Korg's Lair. Is that the choice every time? What if I hit X? What happens then? Do you want to clear this tower quest and generate a new one? It'll cost me something, though. Yeah, I do. So now we're going to do Aston Pinnacle. All right. Something different. See, right there, if you're talking about frames, that does look like that. Like, when I'm playing it, it the way he's kind of skippy. Maybe that's why they set it on low originally. But, I mean, geez, this thing's like, I don't know, a lot of iPads strapped together, I would think. That actually might not be true. iPads are pretty powerful now. Okay, that snake looks worrisome. Let's try something just out of curiosity. Let's go into options and graphics. Yeah, this thing's set to 30 frames per second, by the way. I'm gonna go to normal detail once and turn the render scale down just a little bit and we'll see what happens. Well, it does, it, it is like turn based, so it does stop every turn. There we go. All right, let's see what happens. We'll just see if it looks a little smoother. Die, snake man! That was sweet. I enjoyed that. Another uh, move you can do is this kind of shield bash. So I can push forward with my... Oh, idiot. I can't believe I did that. I can kind of push forward with my shield and stun him. All right, whatever that is is not good. All right, let's see what we get. Yeah, when I play back, I'll see what I get and see what's going on with that. Whether it looks right to what I'm playing or whether it's something in the stream. The sound effects in this are pretty good too. It's another thing that I like about it. There we go. Trinket parts. Great. New talent unlocked. There we go. Ooh, I got an achievement. I think I've talked about this before that <laughs> for whatever reason, I don't count some. I don't count some uh, achievements as real achievements. The Apple Play Store being one of them. I don't know. Just Steam. Steam achievements matter. That's it. Like the impenetrable Everland Knights of Yore. You can now block with your shield indefinitely while wielding a defensive weapon. Okay. Or, Weapon Master. Thanks to your experience in the field, all martial weapons are now yours to command. I will be doing that one. Got some new attributes again. I'm up that... I mean, what does this give me? Increased... 
And meanwhile, I can do like massive physical damage. Seems to me. Got him. Yeah, it's weird because I'm using almost no CPU on this. I mean, nothing. Like, it's using 16%, which is pfft. not much when you're live streaming. Went quite well, I thought. <laughs> Alright, just went back through the door that I came from. Uh, however, that's my only choice, so there we go. Oh, no, it isn't. Look at it. I'm back up. There we go. Real quick, I'm gonna try and bump this over to 60 frames. I wonder if that'll clear that up. I bet there's a mismatch in the frame rate. Watch, I'm gonna make this worse, just so you know. Much worse, probably. I don't know, it looks worse in the live stream. <laughs> see if that clears things up. And this has got four floors to it of oh, fun. I was hoping I could do something with these eggs. But you can't. It's a lot of scenery. I am blocking properly. There it is. Forge hammer. Not that exciting. The whack em with a scully. Looks exactly the same. <laughs> yeah, all right. I'm going to shift it back then because. I'm sure it's more... You know what? It doesn't seem to be more CPU either way. Just weird. Plated boots of clotting like blood clots or gotcha ah here we go floor four of four Oh, I don't think so. I gotta finish him off fast. The other guy's coming. Did that thing just curve to hit? Oh no, there's more than one. That was pretty winner. Things are speeding up here. All right, here we go. What's my big prize? Did I get something amazing? COVID boots. The shield of, was it sulfur or salter? see 
Oh, I want to equip that. That looks... The Shield of Sulfur! Sweet. I like it. You never see your character, but darn it. Do I ever... You know, I have not seen, like, a critical hit. At least not it tagging it. Alright, I'm going to smart myself up a bit. He's a little too dumb, I think. My character, a little too dumb. Plus, I'm pretty sure I'm wearing light armor. Woo! Forge hammer! Alright, yeah. Th now here, this is actually like this. Like, he's really skippy. As you become more skilled, diving deeper into the towers, word of your mission reaches more ears. Some of the more curious people have returned to the great city, including a skilled blacksmith of great renown who intends to form a crafting guild. Perhaps with their help and some useful trinkets, you can upgrade your equipment as well as forge some fancy new gear. That sounds... Like a winner to me. So I can upgrade and craft. I'm using... All right. So what can I craft? Let's see. <laughs> no idea. Okay, so I need some stuff to be able to do this. Can I upgrade though? Yes. All right, so let's try... Um, my awesome, look at that, Vicious Mace of Incision. Okay, we're going to do this. Look at that. And it's now level two. Can I do some more stuff? Yes. I got plenty of money. Look at that. Oh, I can't do it. I don't have enough parts, so I'm going to have to go questing. Ah. Still, wait, wait, did I get some stuff for this? Clear 12 orcs. All right, we're going to do one more quest because uh, I wouldn't mind getting some more parts. Real quick, I'm going to up my uh, physical damage. I'd like to be able to crush my foes in one hit. That would be awesome. Yeah, right? Two, <laughs> two frame per second, mage. That should be his name. Alright, I'm going to do Gano's Sanctum. Or Gano's? Gano's Sanctum. I'm feeling brave. We'll end it on this one. Let's see what we get. Hopefully some goodies. <laughs> hey there, two frame. People have reported seeing ghosts in Everland for centuries. In general, these ghosts are harmless as they cannot affect the physical dimension. The ghosts which roam the towers, however, are extremely dangerous. The towers are places where the walls between dimensions are at their thinnest, and the ghosts can manifest a physical presence. Yeah, you could have shrunk the font a little bit there, bud. It's for this reason... It is suspected that the towers are appearing in our dimension from another plane of existence entirely. Holy mackerel. All right. First things first, know my surroundings. Because last time, I got thwacked from both directions. He's still around. There. Ghosts have bones? I am in, I'm already pretty beaten up. That ghost tore me up. Jeez. You know, I know who's here. I have a bad feeling about this tower.
But we're gonna do it nonetheless. Here we go. Terrified. I love that the floppy disk symbol is still used. Man, I mm, take a lot of damage now. It's weird because the last round behind me. He really tears you up. I don't know whether I should check it out. These guys do massive damage. Okay, I did better that time. Empowering Vestment of Purity. Ah, oh, see, I screwed that up. I should have shielded when I saw him diving back. Okay, so I'm out of heals. So I cannot screw up on this again. I'm concerned. I may not be able to survive this. All right. Got lucky on that one. Behind me. Or in front of me. Where'd he go? Ha! There's more than one now. Uh, I went the wrong way. And I got one of my heels back, so I'm just gonna use that pretty much right away. Wait, 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 before I do that. <sighs> All right, I might wanna try. Let's see if I can't save that. I don't know if I'm making a bad decision here or not, but. Where am I at now? <sighs> I hate to say it, but I'm probably just gonna heal. God bless it. Mistakes were made. Where'd he go? Behind me. I don't know. Whew. <laughs> Got lucky on that. Sound effects are getting to me. Did good on that. All right, let's go back. And watch as I walk right in. Don't like what he was doing. I didn't like the cut of his jib. 
All right, now I got plenty of heals too, so. Yep, chances of making it through this are greatly improved. Really? Make you pay for that. I'm gonna let him get a little closer to me than I normally would because uh, I didn't want to get to the point where I could get surrounded. They will surround you if they can. Uh, darn it. I don't know what the heck happened there. I couldn't raise my shield. Kind of odd. What's up, that constitution? Do a bit of a heal here. There we go. I'm more confident, but that doesn't mean... I'll be successful. Okay, so some shoes. Put those on. Much better. Almost made it. Yeah, I gotta figure out what's going on with the live stream settings because usually they're pretty good. No idea. In trouble. There we go. Ha! What the? Oh, this might be it. It's the last floor, too. Wouldn't that suck? ain't gonna be good might not make it a heal would be nice wait I can leave Got it. There we go. Tower cleared. And I got a writ. Oh, there we go. Whoo, man. That, um, that last one was close. Gotta say. Let's see 
these stats. Hmm. Yeah, graphically, there's like nothing wrong with the game right now, and I'm kind of curious what's going on with the live stream on this, but whatever. It happens. We were doing uh, Call of Duty last week, and it was working just fine. But for some reason, sometimes these games just, I don't know. No idea. Anyway, there we go. Just made it. Survived. Actually, you know what? I am showing connection issues. All right. Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up at that point. Uh, sorry about the quality issues. I'll look into what's going on with that. It does appear that I am having some streaming issues here. Uh, so, again, apologies. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please do me a big favor. Give me a thumbs up. Check out some of my videos.